Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take you through on where to um, find the details and how to log into the MT5 um, terminal um, so you can obviously start to begin your challenge. So if we share um, the email with the account details, you can obviously see here you will get, after you purchase a challenge, you will receive an email like this you will have all of the details inserted in it, okay? Um, so the evaluation you're going for, um, obviously the brokerage, the server, um, the login details, and the password you are electing to choose, okay? So in this one here, um, has all the details attached. So at least that way then you can copy and paste it after you've downloaded um, MT5 on your application um, device. So very, very quickly, um, it's all just a case of copy and paste the details into MT5. So in a secondary page here, I've also got MT5 and I'm going to copy and paste the details like so from one page, the email, into the second page, which is the MT5 terminal, okay? Um, so if you see the next screen that we're currently sharing, we have our MT5 terminal uh, software used to trade. So in the very top corner, we have our file, and we have a scroll down all the way to log in to trade account. So this will tell you um, by clicking. So you'll have to just copy and paste the de details associated. So if I remove the existing details and simply just copy and paste um, from the email as so, um, the login will then complete. So login details, just going to copy and paste that from the email over. So copy and um, back into MT5 paste that into the uh, login section. So the account number will go in the login number and then the password will be as per the email. Um, so taking the details from the password, from the email, like so, just copy and paste it or you can type it freehand um, depending obviously on the device you're using. Um, and then obviously paste that in there. Okay, and um, the server is ACG Markets Live. Um, so just double checking that again, cross-reference of the email. Um, and it is in fact ACG Markets uh, hyphen live. And if I press OK, it will then log us in. So we can see at 957, 958, we've got the details associated with the account. And we can see here at the bottom, balance 100,000, equity 100,000, free margin 100,000. So we know that we're fully logged in, fully ready to go uh, to begin our trading experience. OK, so the second part of this video is going to be in terms of interpretation of how the platform actually works. OK, um, so broadly speaking, on the MT5 platform, we can see here very, very clearly that we have our dates across the bottom. We have our price points across the top left. So by filtering left or filtering right, it kind of zooms in and zooms out. So. Uh, it, it all kind of depends, I suppose, on the software you're using for analytics. Do you use MT5 for your uh, trading and charts or do you use it more as an executional point of view? OK, um, so let me look at this then. If you look at five uh, file, new chart, and then you've got all the different um, asset classes here. So you'll have a number of these are just the first ones alphabetically done off. OK, but if you go down to ACG, FX, CFDs and spot metals, you will see indices um, your commodities and obviously your FX pairs. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're finding an asset class or if you're looking for an asset class that is not visible here in the drop down section, you simply go back to your main screen and find the orange um, square where the dollar sign is enclosed within it. So if you hit this button here, um, it will bring up a separate tab, okay? A separate tab with all of the assets. And you can see here, some of these aren't ticked. So that is just done by default. So if I tick these um, very, very clearly, just double click on each one, like so. It takes about two seconds. I'm just gonna remove that one. Double click, double click, the whole way down. And same again with the spot metals. So if there's any particular metals, so you can see here gold is populated, but silver isn't. So I'm just going to do that as well. And in the CFDs, we have our main indices is pretty much done with the exception of the Nikkei in Japan, the Hong Kong 50, and our oil prices. So if I want to add prices, oil prices to it. And then after all has been added, you can then just hit the OK button. Now, if you're looking at another thing, uh, just before I, I hit the OK button and complete the video, um, there is also another thing called contract size, okay? So 
if you look at, for example, uh, if I just take, for example, the UK 100, right, it's important to obviously look at the contract size as well, because not every platform, not every brokerage is going to be the same in terms of the contract size. So with ourselves here at ACG, one lot, so 1.00 lot is the equivalent of one a contract or one dollar or pound per point so in this case it's obviously a dollar account so one lot is a case of one dollar per point so if you are let's say looking at the FTSE and you're risking um let's say one percent which is a thousand dollars and you're using a stop loss of let's say 50 points well then you can actually execute a contract size of 20 lots so 20 by 50 is your 1,000 and you're maintaining that 1% risk. So I suppose if you're looking for determining what the contract size is is in relevance to the risk you're taking, we obviously have the um, risk uh, manager tool as well to help you with that. But that was just a very, very simple calculation. So keep an eye on the contract size as well. If you're wondering what the contract size is for each asset class, you can find it in this screen as well. So again, if I look at the NASDAQ, NASDAQ's the same. Uh, DAX is the same as well. Uh, and of course, if I look at, let's say, the Dow Jones is the same and the S&P is also the same. So every contract, every indice here is all one dollar per point. So at least that way, then if you're placing one uh, contract or one lot, um, it's the equivalent of one dollar per point, broadly speaking as well. All right. So if we hit the OK button and um, all of those contracts will then feed through. And of course, then if you want to create a new chart all the way up here, ACG markets and you can see the full drop down list has now appeared and uh, broadly speaking if you want to create a chart or input an indicator you've obviously got the in insert section here we've got indicators we've got objects we've got experts and we've got scripts so if you're looking for anything there and um, in, in, in terms of inserting anything that is fine and um, if you're looking at a even a chart if you want to add anything to the chart or take stuff away so for example with my charts I tend to chart shift which puts everything in the middle of the screen and i also tend to remove the grid so it just makes the chart a little bit cleaner to observe so it all comes down to yourselves and i also remove the tick volume at the bottom as well so it, it just comes down to you as an individual um and, and kind of how you like uh, to trade the platform so you can kind of navigate around it of course if you want to take a position which is obviously going to be important as well and um, just hit that new order section here and that will obviously break down so if i want to take and um, let's just say, for example, a let, let me just pick a contract here. For example, if I just choose and uh, maybe the NASDAQ, we'll just take the NASDAQ as a trade. And um, if I take the NASDAQ and I look to implement a five dollar per point short and uh, maybe stop loss of, let's say, 12. Um, I'm just going to put a random number, 12, 200 volume of five. I then will obviously hit the sell market and that will execute the trade. Okay. So that's kind of a quick intro in terms of navigating around the platform. And um, we also have you. So if you're looking for navigator screen or toolbox, if you're looking to kind of kind of add anything in or take anything out, that is obviously handy. We've got the data window as well. And there is also a market watch. So you can see kind of how the, the broader spreads are reacting. So you can see here there's a multiple different asset classes here. So you can scroll through. So if you want to quickly execute an order. On a specific asset you can do it through the market watch screen as well and um, very very actively as well and very very quickly and um, also as well i suppose the time frames so you can see here one minute charts five minutes 15s 30s uh all the way up to kind of weeklies and monthly charts so depending on what you want to do now the only thing i would say is mt5 can be a little um difficult when you go up to the really higher time frames and um, because it kind of filters kind of awkwardly and um, so just kind of remove the uh the auto scroll and the auto shift as well and that'll help to uh, fix that issue hopefully um now broadly speaking personally speaking a lot of traders use the likes of trading view as a, a tool for analytics and then using mt5 as execution um you can use mt5 for analytics it's not the best software out there um but it is essential for execution okay um so hopefully this video will help um and of course if anyone has ever any questions feel free to reach out to us in our discord as well we can be on hand to answer any questions regarding the mt5 terminal and of course we've got other uh, a few other bits and pieces in terms of tabs so status bar toolbars etc um, so you can play around with with the terminal as well so that's pretty much it um everyone um of course any questions as i said feel free to reach out uh, in our discord as well thank you